Hey fellas, this is another one of those really old locks that I bought in a batch uh, off of eBay. This is a Seagal. Uh, I have no idea how old this is. There's no model number or anything on it other than this engraving 555 on the side. It's in just great shape. It looks like even unmodified has the original pins. It's a four pinner. That's it. Uh, nothing else on it, but still in just in really great shape. Anyway, let's uh, clamp this up in here and I'll show you the key. Okay, the key. Here we go. Not a big challenge for especially for a four pinner, but again, this is this is more about history than about picking, I think. Independent lock coming company, Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Again, look at all the filigree around the edge of that thing. Just somebody design work. I mean, it really is an attractive key, even though it's only a four pinner. This one was also on display as you know in the lock when I bought it, but this one does work, unlike a couple of the others. So let's see if we can pick this. Um, hopefully, four pinner. I certainly hope I could pick it. <laughs> I'm not going to rake this old lock or anything like that. Uh, I don't think that's necessary. Uh, be too hard on it, I think. Okay, we'll just put a little tension on there. Start from the front, just like a master lock, checking for that binding pin. Feels like that last one wouldn't want to give up. Come on, baby. There we go. Not a lot to it, but again, this really isn't about the picking of a four pin lock. This is more about the history. It's really a cool lock, all brass, just in great shape. Anyway, it does work. It comes with a key. I'm not going to tear it up or open it or anything. I don't think that's necessary. But anyway, if any of you collectors out there decide you want this thing, please let me know. I'd be happy to send it to you or trade it to you for something maybe a little more challenging than this. If not, if I don't hear from anybody, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this in one of the next boxes that go out just a random lock. Anyway, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal. By the way, an addendum to that, uh, this Seagal did come with the original Seagal latch and the plate. I don't know if there's anything missing for this thing, but uh, this is originally, this probably was on somebody's door. And I'm going to send it all, all together. I hate to break it up, but it came this way and this is how I intend to send it out. Anyway, there you go.